state legislation layered on top of all that. What you are seeing right here is a round table of Iowan parents sharing their experiences with IVF or in vitro fertilization. Iowa Senator Sarah Tron Garriott has been a strong leader on reproductive freedom issues in the Senate and recently hosted this roundtable to hear from constituents who have gone through IVF. The process can be incredibly draining. It can be incredibly difficult. It is expensive. IVF greatly increases your chance of pregnancy, but it is not guaranteed to work every time. What I mean is IVF is hard enough without the government trying to intervene. And the possibility of Iowa Republicans attacking IVF in addition to the other things and people they regularly attack is enough to prompt people to leave the state. Even though Iowa's fetal personhood bill, this was House File 2575, stalled in the House as the legislative session of 2024 ended, many people, including me, have concerns about future bills and their implications. A fetal personhood bill in Iowa would make it a felony to cause the death of an unborn person and defines personhood from fertilization to birth. This is eerily similar to the fetal personhood bill that passed in Alabama that ruled that embryos in the IVF process were children and eliminated the option of doing IVF for people who would have made incredibly loving parents. We cannot let this happen in Iowa. Follow Iowa Starting Line for more or check us out at iowastartingline.com.